It's asymptomatic that if we didn't define ourselves for ourselves, we will be defined by others for their use and to our detriment. Audre Lorde. I'm interested in doing the project because it gives me an opportunity to share my voice. Um, I do feel as a woman of color, um, I do have some sort of responsibility to continue to re-articulate um, what I am, who I am, where I'm going, um, because a lot of younger women have some issues in regards to their voice. So this project definitely gives me an opportunity to voice who I am and also inspire others to speak. Angry black woman. The minute they see me, it's um, the short hair or the natural hair. Um, they're thinking feminist, Black Panther movement. Um, and while those stereotypes do have some truth to them, it is not all me. Um, I'm not an angry black woman. Um, I do feel that I need to always explain myself because these stereotypes are constantly put in front of my face. It is not necessarily on the counterpart side. It's usually my people that perpetuate um, the stereotypes. So I definitely feel as though I need to cut that out and um, let them know that angry black woman, why will you say something like that to me when you are a black woman yourself? So. That is usually the biggest stereotype. Angry. Oh, and I'm also over-sexualized um, by men of all races um, because I have a complexion that is a, that's spicy and alluring, um, a body that is to be conquered rather than to be worshipped and understood. So that's another stereotype that I have to face on a daily basis. Labels I choose to take on, smart, educated, um, eccentric, eclectic, something to offer to others in a positive light, spiritual, creative. Honestly, I feel as though the world already know who I am, but they choose not to acknowledge it because they're trying to keep me down to, for their own personal gain, whatever they've been through. Um, they feel as though in order for them to get ahead, they have to perpetuate certain stereotypes and highlight certain things that has been normalized in our society. So, um, but for the world to understand that, yes, I have a plight, but I also have a story um, that is specific to me and who I am and where I need to go. So in terms of defining who I am, um, just as a black woman that has something to offer, that is positive rather than negative. I feel like they really, really need a lot of guidance. Um, we're living in this fast age of technology. Everything is easily accessible. Um, and to, certain, to a certain extent, I feel as though girls, young ladies of color, have taken a backseat in regards to understanding themselves and their identity and trying to reform it and rearticulate it in a positive light. So the, the young ladies that are around me or I have encountered or see in the street, I really, really do feel as though they need to understand that they have a voice, an identity, um, something that should not be highlighted based on music videos, um, lyrics in a song, um, what they feel um, is right in regards to following the, the quote unquote massive. Hi, my name is Ujama D. Hanacha. I'm a fine art photographer and creator of The Reimagining. Thank you so much for taking a moment to understand why this project is so important to us. Please help us make this historic project possible. 100% of your donation will go towards the creation of this exhibit. Visit us at idxstudios.com for more information on how you can help The Reimagining. Mm -hmm.